Hi, today is the 23rd of September, and the reading is from The Language of Letting Go by Melody Beatty. And it says, tolerance, patience, tolerance, tolerate our quirks, our feelings, our reactions, our peculiarities, our humanness. Tolerate our ups and downs, our resistance to change, our struggling and sometimes awkward nature. Tolerate our fears, our mistakes, our natural tendency to duck from problems and pain. Tolerate our hesitancy to get close, expose ourselves, be vulnerable. Tolerate our need to occasionally feel superior, to sometimes feel ashamed, and to occasionally share love as an equal. Tolerate the way we progress, a few steps forward and a couple back. Tolerate our instinctive desire to control and how we reluctantly learn to practice detachment. Tolerate the way we say we want love and then sometimes push others away. Tolerate our tendency to get obsessive, forget to trust God, and occasionally get stuck. Some things we do not tolerate. Do not tolerate abusive or destructive behaviors towards others or ourselves. Practice healthy, loving tolerance of ourselves, said one man. When we do, we learn tolerance from others. Then take it one step further, learn that all the humanness we're tolerating is what makes ourselves and others beautiful. Today, I will be tolerant of myself. For that, I will learn appropriate tolerance of others. And I think that <clears throat> for me, learning to tolerate, and I think what what it means, to, what the, what that means to me in this instance is is accepting my fears and my mistakes and understanding that they're they're not the end of the world <laughs> and that they do serve me on some level and you know our quirks our feelings our reactions it, it's all about accepting oneself accepting okay this is me and um, there are things about me that I want to improve and there are things about me that are perfectly imperfect and messy and and it's okay and that's part of the tapestry of what makes us who we are and you know I am an avid I'm, I'm an avid self-development person always trying to improve and, and grow and you know but ultimately I know that what's in here is good right so I just want to improve those things that are unnecessary, those unnecessary patterns of behavior that are just shit. <laughs> you know, I don't need to do that. I don't need to, to, to be hard on myself. I don't need to be judgmental of myself, nor do I need to do it to others. Everybody is just trying to figure out how to get through this life and be at peace with themselves and others. And, and it's, a, it's a learning process for every single one of us. And there is no set pace. It's interesting to me, when we're babies, like from, you know, they have that book, um, What to Expect When You're Expecting, and then What to Expect from Your One-Year-Old. And you read these books, or you go online, and they have these, like, timelines. And I will tell you what, that it is almost scary how accurate they are, that the majority of us humans do these same things at the same time not all but the majority right and it's not like that with growth and it's not like that with personal becoming becoming it's not it's 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 different for everybody we all have different experiences we all some of us go through it when we're really young some of us go through it when we're older some of us go through it stop or stagnant then we Hit a, hit a bottom or hit a hit a high and who knows who knows what your journey is but what the magic is for me what keeps me going is that it feels so much better to be in this in this zone rather than in the zone of negative I can't do this I can't do that blah 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 oh 
it's exhausting and it's it doesn't serve anyone it's not good for me it's not good for my family it's not good for my friends it's not good for my fellow humans in this world it's putting out crappy energy and and ruining people's day I mean even if you're just a jerk in line you're a jerk and you're upsetting someone's day and then they're gonna have to go home and they're gonna be upset because this lady came in and was super snotty to me and and made me feel small because I was having a bad day too and you know I mean so there's there's no reason other than selfishness which we can all be and and it's part of life and it's okay but for me I gotta keep my side of the street clean I gotta keep my um myself honest open and willing and tolerant and patient and kind and if I can do that things tend to go better so I'm gonna try and stay on that zone and you know it seems like whenever I'm describing it it's your right but it's my left like I think for me the the when I'm when I'm in a good zone I'm going left and when I'm in a bad zone I'm going right which is opposite because you know you would think right is right but anyways I've just noticed that by watching myself do these crazy videos so um, you can, my links are below if you want to catch me on Instagram or if you want to catch me uh, at the website, sign up for the mailing list. There's a, there's a button. You can do that. You can subscribe. Um, I'm getting started with doing some more work and, um, taking some of this stuff to the next level. So it's really quite exciting. Um, so hopefully I'll be doing some coaching and I have an online course coming. So if, um, if you're interested, subscribe, all things awkward and awesome will be coming your way. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thanks.